Hey peoples. Well today on the agenda I am going to go um, to the Big Bear Historical Society. I want to do a painting of this. So I want to do a, a painting of this building but I want to do it in the retrospect of uh, years ago when it sort of years ago when it was a drive-in theater because that's where my interest is, the nostalgia. And I wanna put metal like it is today, but then maybe in the corner put a, the drop where the screens were, and maybe even have some ghost-like cars. I think I can pull that off. If not, I'll leave that out. But I, I just did something where I thought, man, I could do that. So, ride along with me. But I'm, I have to go to the Dollar Tree and I'm really not interested in the history of Big Bear per se. So I hope I don't get into a long discussion. So that's where we're at today. Nothing else is new that I want to talk about. <laughs> in due time. ice cream in the car <laughs> so i can't see. head south toward lakeview center turn right onto lakeview center then turn right onto california 18 turn right onto california 18 big bear boulevard temperature up into the mid 80s this weekend then it's going to go back into the mid to upper 70s so summer is finally here in Big Bear and I wake up and my RV is pretty cold like low 60s so Well, that was a bust. All they had, it wasn't like, remember Quartzsite, the video I did? I mean, this guy knew about Quartzsite and they had artifacts and all sorts of cool stuff. This is a gift shop. That's all it was. And she didn't know nothing about nothing. Gave me a business card. I said, well, I just mainly wanted pictures. I think I know everything there is to know about the drive-in movie theater from reading articles and Kevin grew up here so he's familiar so I'm just gonna have to go on what I already had you know what my gut told me that and I'm gonna be so mad if my ice cream is all melted I got moose tracks when it has a little greasy cups in it
Good job, guys. Time for a break. <laughs> Well, I've sketched out the property here and now I'm going to fill in the basics before I start doing the detail work. Not that I know what I'm doing. Let me see. I need a brush that will spread across. And my paints are old and a little dry, so I'm going to mix some. I forget what it's called, but it basically thins out your paint. So I want a blue sky. So here's my blue paint. Look how dry it is. That's what happens when you don't scrape the paint off and start fresh each time, but I'm lazy. I should have taped the outside edges around so I didn't get paint on them. But again, I'm lazy, so I'll just paint them white when I'm all done. A little bit more white. I don't know if you can see, that's the picture I took. I'm trying to. Gonna be green pine trees reaching up, so it's funny, but on the big canvases, these are 16 by 20, I believe. I like the uh, hogs hair brushes, but on the shorter canvases. I like the these shorter brushes. So now I need to do the base for the grass. And I think I'm going to make it, since it's a lighter, I need a rag. I'm going to do tan instead of dark brown. Right, 
this will be my base. And of course, I'm going to do the meadow. Well, this is all for today. I'm probably about halfway done. And the hardest part is the detail work with oil on the bigger canvases. It just doesn't flow real smooth. So, like windows and the street lamps are going to be hard. But the foliage is the easiest and most fun part. So uh, I'll let it sit overnight. I like to let things dry a little bit and then I add to. And I need some more turpentine. Up here on the mountain, it's like $13 for a little quart at the hardware. And then um, the hardware and running springs, it's $8. But I'm used to like $2.99 at Walmart. But that's what you get when you... So... I'm done for today. Um, I got the base set and some of the detail work done, but the windows and the street lamps are gonna be so hard. It's just really hard to do a fine line with oil paint on these bigger canvases. Here are some pictures I'm working on. Another barn. I guess those are daisies, I don't know. Brown eyed Susan. I had done this one last year, or when I was started painting, but I wrote Merry Christmas on it. It looks sloppy, so I took that off. With the barn, with the uh, little drive-in movie theater. I'm not done, but I'm getting close. I tried to put a couple cars in there, but I'm not that much of an artist where I could really do them good.